What's up tennis family? I'm Eric Claggett and in this video we're going to talk about tennis in Cebu City, Philippines. Okay, so we are going to talk about my favorite places to play tennis in Cebu City, but first I want to say a few things about Cebu and it's that I absolutely love this city. It's not for everybody, but I loved it so much I ended up staying six months there. Um, there's plenty of cons, like I don't think the food's that great. Uh, you deal with some traffic, some pollution, but overall the people there are so friendly and so nice that I had a really good time and they have good tennis and they are passionate about their tennis. And they have some good tennis facilities that Let's get into. I would say that tennis is like the second or third sport in Cebu City uh, after basketball. And then you could argue volleyball and badminton are pretty tight, but uh, it seems to be a tennis court in every little province, barangay. And I went and checked out a whole bunch of them. And my absolute favorite tennis facility is Asmara Urban Resort and Lifestyle Village. There they have three tennis courts, three clay courts, which um, their clay is this tan colored dirt, plays just like green clay or red clay. And the cool thing about Asmara is that it has a whole vibe around it. So it's actually, there's a hotel there, there's a swimming pool, there's a lounge, two story lounge, and there was a restaurant and a bar and at night it turns into a nightclub, salsa club. And so people can sit right there on the decks and watch the tennis. Now my next favorite place to play is a, a courts called City Green. And these are the only ones that I'm aware of in the city, Cebu City, that have a covered roof. And they actually have red clay on the courts, which is just fantastic. Um, it's only two courts, and there's a couple downsides to these courts, in my opinion, is that not conveniently located. When I was taking taxis there, they don't know where it is, and it's kind of tucked back through some roads so you have to really help navigate and the second thing is actually this says a lot about the club but it's almost always fully booked um, a couple days in advance so if you want to play there you need to book three or four days in advance but that's a good sign that people love playing there and it's a vibrant tennis community that's passionate at city green the third place I like to play is a place called Villa Aurora, and you can find it on your Google Maps, but they have two courts, tan colored clay, and I went over there because I, I was recommended that they have some good players over there and some good competition, and I found that to be true. I went over there and lost a couple of doubles matches. <laughs> I'm a little bit more of a singles player to begin with, but um, yeah, cool cool place to play. It also fits for the the Filipino vibe of tennis. I really like it. It's it's to do pickup games. So you go, you show up, you wait your turn and you'll get put into a match and they'll try to pair you with your level. And then maybe you watch for a match or two and then you're back in. And when the match is over, you know, guys, it's hot there. So people take your shirts off. It's just kind of laid back, friendly environment. I love a Villa Aurora. Okay, so I've got two more tennis facilities to tell you about, and these I put at the end because uh, they're private facilities. So I was fortunate enough to make friends at Asmara and some other places that invited me to go play at Casino Espanol. And I actually, I mean, I, I freaking love this place. But the problem is it, it, you can't pay to play there. You need to pay for a membership, which can be a little bit expensive. And um, I was fortunate to play there as a guest, but they have two courts. So if I was staying in Cebu City for a while and you've got resources, this would be a good place to get a membership with 
and especially if you have, if you have a family. Um, but yeah, I played a lot of tennis at Casino Espanol. It's um, definitely an awesome place to play if you can get in. And then the last one, same thing, Cebu Country Club. That's actually the best golf course in Cebu, but they happen to have three tennis courts as well. Very expensive membership. I was invited to play there a few times as a guest. So um, if you see those courts, just know that you won't be able to play on them unless you buy that membership. Um, but a uh, nice facility, and I hear really great things about the golf course although I don't play golf myself. Okay, and so if you guys are looking for tennis equipment, uh, you can find that in Cebu City. Um, the best store to go to is STL Sports in Bonilad. I did not use them to string my racket because I like to go to Ayala Mall quite a bit. And Ayala has a store inside called Chris Sports where they will string your racket, but they don't sell tennis rackets or really any tennis equipment. For tennis equipment, you need to go to STL Sports. There's also a store called Metro. It's like a Walmart or a superstore. And sometimes I'll conveniently swing in there just to buy tennis balls. But other than the buying tennis balls, uh, finding equipment's a little scarce. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be having a lot more cool videos coming out soon. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. I'm Eric Claggett, and I'm on a mission to highlight tennis all over the world using blog, travel, and photography. I'll play with anybody, anytime. All you need is a racket, some balls, and a smile. This is Primal Tennis.